Hi everyone, welcome to We Draw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about helium. So now let's get straight to it. Helium is the second member of the periodic table. It is located at the top of the noble gas, a group of non-reactive and stable gases. With the atomic number of two, most helium atoms have two protons and two neutrons in the nucleus. It has two electrons, which gives it a stable electron shell. Helium is found as a single atom and won't combine itself to make molecules. It exists as transparent gas at room temperature. It is odorless, tasteless, and non-toxic. Out of all the elements, helium has the lowest melting point and boiling point, at minus 272.20 degrees Celsius and minus 268.93 degrees Celsius respectively. Did you know that helium was discovered in the sun's atmosphere before it was found on Earth? On August 18, 1868, French astronomer Pierre Janssen discovered a new element in the bright yellow cloud of gas during a total solar eclipse in India. In October of the same year, English astronomer Joseph Norman Lockyer also observed the same strange yellow line in his own experiment. Together, they were credited on the discovery of the new element. It was called helium after the Greek god of the sun, Helios. For some time, helium was believed to exist only in the sun. Until in 1881, Italian physicist Luigi Palmieri detected helium on Earth when analyzing lava from Mount Vesuvius. Then in 1895, Scottish chemist Sir William Ramsey managed to collect a sample of helium from uraninite, a radioactive uranium mineral. He received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1904 for the discovery of this noble gas. Helium is the second most abundant element after hydrogen making up about 24% of the mass of the universe. Helium is constantly being produced at the internal cores of stars. It is estimated that our Sun, which is one of the stars, produces 700 million tons of helium per second. It is also one of the main gases in the atmospheres of giant gas planets, such as Saturn, which is made up of clouds of hydrogen and helium. Being the second lightest element after hydrogen, Helium is fairly rare on Earth. It is so light that it eventually escapes from our atmosphere into space. Helium exists in Earth's atmosphere only because it is constantly resupplied from the decay of radioactive elements on Earth and cosmic rays. The helium that we buy in cylinders is produced by radioactive decay of thorium and uranium. It produces about 3,000 metric tons of helium a year. Did you know that when helium is inhaled, it causes a weird squeaky voice effect? Helium is low density so when we speak, the vocal cords vibrate faster, sending the voices pitch skyward. Though helium is non-toxic, do not try this, as inhaling too much helium can result in asphyxiation due to oxygen deprivation. This could cause injury to your brain or even death. Unlike hydrogen, which is very flammable, helium is a noble gas. It is non-reactive and safer to float objects such as part of balloons and airships. Because helium is easily compressed and non-toxic, it is also used in specialized breathing mixtures of gases for very deep scuba diving up to 984 feet. The fraction of nitrogen in the air has been replaced with helium to avoid dangerous bouts of nitrogen narcosis, an effect similar to sudden and extreme drunkenness. Besides, liquid helium is useful to cool the superconducting magnets for MRI scanners and NMR spectrometers, as well as the powerful magnets used to make maglev trains float over the track. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.